Hey everybody, I want to talk about one of my favorite tools. Uh, I don't know that this necessarily falls under Lean Six Sigma. I use it in design for Six Sigma when I'm creating something new, uh, but it's called Kano. Kano. So Kano analysis, uh, some of the examples from him are in the automotive industry, but here's the basic premise. This is also why uh, most surveys uh, done in corporate America are just a complete waste of time. I could do a whole segment on that. I'll try to slip it in. But basically what Kano said is the customer is either uh, not satisfied or the customer is neutral. Okay, so basically the first mistake companies make is that we're somehow supposed to be elated or not satisfied with what they're doing. So there's going to be this quadrant down here uh, where I'm negative, but then there's this quadrant over here where I'm neutral. I don't know why more companies don't understand. For example, you go into a hotel room, you check out, and the next day you're gonna get a survey that says on a scale of one to 10, was your room clean? Well, what's a, what's a six? I often respond to the survey and I will give a six and then say, uh, what is a six? One foreign hair per square meter? Um, it's not a measurable question, and frankly, the room is supposed to be clean. So Kano broke customer needs down then into several categories. So one, I'm going to put it here, are what we call must-haves. Must-haves have to be in the design. A clean room for me is a must-have. A coffee pot in the room is a must-have. So you don't survey and ask how, you know, how satisfied are you with the coffee pot in your room? It's supposed to be there. So what Kano said is failing to provide a must have leads to customer dissatisfaction. Providing a must have simply makes the customer neutral. So I walk up to a car dealership. He does not tell me that there are brakes on the car because brakes are a must have. Failing to provide brakes on the car makes me dissatisfied. I'm not going to purchase it. Um, providing brakes on the car, he's not going to talk about because they have to be there. Okay, so that's kind of where a lot of survey questions in corporate America are really around things that if they're not there, the customer's going to tell you. Uh, I think a lot of surveys are just companies being lazy and not wanting to go look for themselves. Um, but if the room isn't clean, I'm going to tell you. If the room is clean, I don't know why you're asking me a survey question. It's supposed to be. It's a must have, okay? So, then Kano said there are these things called one dimensionals. One dimensionals, okay? Uh, not the boy band, one dimension, but one dimensionals. And basically, those are things where more of or less of is better, okay? So, for example, when they run together, Brakes on a car is a must-have, okay? Providing brakes makes me neutral. However, you begin to get over into the customer satisfaction category, right? Customer sat by providing less stopping distance, okay? A car has to have an engine and get gas mileage, must-have. I would say for me, if I bought a car today, you know, it, I got, you know, you got to give me 20 miles per gallon with all the stuff we're putting in these vehicles today. So that's a must have. More gas mileage is a one dimensional and that's what drives customer satisfaction. So that's the stuff you need to be surveying on. Um, <clears throat> you know, not do we have gas mileage, but your salesperson promised that you would get uh, more than 20 miles per gallon. Are you getting it? Yes or no? Um, if no, what are you getting? So more actionable, you know, most companies should just do smaller surveys and very few questions more frequently. Uh, one, we as your customers would get used to short surveys and actually uh, my hypothesis is we might start taking them versus the seven page manifestos that you want us to answer. By the way, the same goes for uh, corporate surveys. I'm always surprised when a client comes and says, hey, only 86% of our employees answered the survey. Well, that's, that's the whole point of a survey. I mean, to get 100%, we can't even pull that off in the Army. Um, and then they'll say things like, well, we asked them how satisf satisfied they are with work-life balance on a scale of 1 to 5, and 40% of associates gave us a 3. And then I go, well, why? Why did they give you a 3? Well, we didn't ask that. All right, well, then it's a useless question. 
Uh, the better question is, are you leaving work at the time you were told you would leave when we offered you the job? Yes or no? If no, are you satisfied with the more hours or do you want less of the overtime? Okay, so let's go back through Kano again. We're almost done. Must-haves have to be in the design. There needs to be a pillow on the bed when you go into the hotel. All right, when I see four pillows on the bed, I'm neutral. It's supposed to be that way. Now, many hotels over the years offered you more options of pillows, more choices of pillows. I believe Holiday Inn years ago had like a pillow bar, okay? So that's one dimensional. Uh, go back to automotive. I've got to have brakes. I've got to have four tires. Less stopping distance is very important, particularly if you're a car enthusiast. The longer my tires will last is something I care about is the average buyer, okay, more of. Lastly, Kano said these are these things, I'm gonna put them up here, they're called delighters. This is where you designers come in. Customers don't really know the delighters. That's where, you know, innovation, design thinking, you know, IDEO, the, the, the great shopping cart video, if you haven't seen that, that's that space. That's where the creative types can get involved and provide stuff that the customer isn't aware of. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's see. Got to be a coffee pot in my room. Also must be coffee packets. More of, I've got six different K-cups to choose from. Delighter, there's also an espresso machine in the room. Wow, you mean I can make it an espresso? That's amazing, you know, now for me, that would be kind of a delighter. Everyone's different. Uh, here's a great example I, I like over the years of a delighter is uh, somebody one day, uh, I'll try not to be too graphic, but realized probably flossing their teeth that it's quite hard to get both fingers in there, particularly if you're a big guy. And they said, why don't I put dental floss on a stick? And I never knew that they could put dental floss on a stick, but when I saw it, I was delighted. Okay, and I buy that. And today my dentist says my teeth are awesome, by the way. A little bit of a lean principle uh, applying mistake proofing rather than remind myself to floss at night. I have these things all over the house, in my car. You'll see me at a stoplight just flossing away uh, because I've tried to make it more uh, of a habitual thing than a must remember thing. So anyway, that's a tangent. Um, but the lighters, let's see, I'm trying to think uh, of something recent in the automotive industry. Well, um, the large, maybe the larger screen that Tesla's doing, that would kind of be a delighter. You know, most of us, we expect now in a car to have a backup camera. Oh, the Chevy, there you go. Uh, almost today, must have is the backup camera. The size of the screen, more of is better. And I will give Chevy some credit. Uh, that ghost mirror, I don't know if you've seen it, the, the commercial, but there's a video camera that will see through your trailer and tell you what's behind your trailer. That's pretty awesome. So I would argue that's a delighter. All right, so let's go back through this real quick. Failing to provide a must have makes the customer dissatisfied. What companies don't seem to get is providing a must have simply makes me neutral. And what's wrong with neutral? Uh, I get surveyed as a professor and it drives me nuts. I'm not there to delight people. I'm supposed to teach them something. I like a better survey scale of, I'll do it over here, negative two, to positive two, where zero is okay. The person met my requirements, period. I'd love to get twos. I was wowed by this person and his amazing jokes. Uh, can't stand the guy, but again, I'm not there to be liked. I'm there to make you get learnt, as we say in the country. But I think more companies ought to go to this scale uh, and make zero acceptable. Um, man, I could spend all day like the Hilton Hotel brand surveys, uh, you know, a scale of one to 10, were you satisfied? And anything below eight is a defect. Well, then just ask yes, no. What if, you're completely wasting the, uh, the point of a one to 10 scale. So failing to provide a must have, I'm dissatisfied. Providing a must have, I'm neutral. There's a bed in the hotel. More pillows, okay. Now you might drive me more to customer satisfaction. You might also begin to ask if I like uh, the pillow options. And then delighters are things I didn't know, and I see it and I go, wow. And of course, the problem in the retail industry is delighters will fast become must-haves. So anyway, any of you folks doing survey design, any of you folks designing things, 
you might want to look at this when you interview a customer ask if it's a must-have see if you can provide more or less of something and I would argue a customer is not going to know a delighter that's your job to find out all right take care